So I come from a very normal family. My uh, father was a Malay teacher, my mom was a nurse. Very normal family, but very lucky to be born in this uh, special country. My work is basically to uh, help companies make their business better and to cope with change. So I've worked with marketing teams to design better products based on data. I've gone to the market with sales teams uh, to see how things work on the ground. I've led workshops with CEOs to create strategies for whole sectors. Going into politics was never part of my three, five, ten year plan, uh, nothing. But I think the world is changing faster than ever before. And these changes are affecting companies, but even more their workers and their families. And many of these changes are for the better, but some of them are also bad for the people. To me, it's really all about people. The Singapore story is a truly exceptional one, but we still have families in Singapore who don't have jobs that give them the financial resources to pick themselves up when they fall down, whose family circumstances don't allow them to give their children the resources to have a fair start in school, or we have also people whose qualifications make them feel and make others feel that they can't pick up the skills to build their careers in the new economy. A close member of my family, he said to me, I only have O levels. What other job can I do? And I think that's really when the pin dropped. My education has given me everything in life. You really feel like you want to give back. And that's why I feel the ability to serve in this way would really be the biggest honor I can possibly imagine. Walaupun perjalanan yang tinggi, dia tidak sombong dan dia dapat membahasakan kalau bahasa kita yang baik. Dia berhormat dengan orang tua-tua seperti saya ni dan dia punya seperti bahasa yang lemah lembut. First would be investing in our people. From early childhood education to lifelong learning to upskilling and reskilling and then matching people with jobs. Second, diversity and inclusion. Because I think it's really important that everyone feels they belong. And then thirdly, I think accessibility to healthcare and welfare. Saya kagum dengan dia. Dia punya sifat-sifat orang Melayu itu ada pada Mariam. Saya harap masyarakat akan merasa bangga bila dia berkecimpung dalam parlimen nanti supaya dia dapat melakukan sesuatu yang baik untuk masyarakat Melayu amnya berkhidmat untuk orang ramai saya harap dengan niat baik dia dia akan berjaya seterusnya The good thing is there are already a lot of plans in place it's really about delivering those plans well and then building on top of them and I really do believe that it is about going to the ground, listening to people, talking to people until you understand. And then from there, see what works, what doesn't, and then work with the team to try different things to help them out. I'm prepared for it because of my experience, just working to improve things. In the end, it's important we work together, that we work with heart and work with steadfastness. And I really hope to have the opportunity to do that with uh, my community and my area.